All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Few Minute Tech. I'm going to be going over um, how to make changes in SkySlope whenever you have a change made to your contract. So starting off on the one login dashboard, we'll click on SkySlope. Once it loads, we're going to pull up the property that we want to make a change to. So I'm going to go to the pending properties. I'm going to take an example from Dan's since I know he doesn't really notice anything that goes on in SkySlope. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like the change that I'm making is to the closing date. So this applies for any changes that are being made to the contract. So for the agreement of sale, if there are any changes, not only do you need to upload an addendum that's signed by both parties, which in order to do that, you would go to checklist right here at the top. And then under agreement of sale with all addenda, you're going to attach an additional document. And what you'll see happen is when you attach multiple documents, it'll go into pending status again for me to approve the new ones. And then when you click on the paperclip, you'll get a pop-up that shows the list of documents attached for that item. So after you attach the addendum, then you're also gonna to wanna to go through the tabs and update the information where it's needed. So if you are, for instance, updating the closing date, you're gonna go under the transaction tab, click on the calendar for closing date, and then you're gonna change it to something else. So for this one, I'm gonna change it to the 27th temporarily. And then I'm going to click next. And it's important that you click next because that is the equivalent of the save button. Um, it's not the most like obvious thing, but if you don't click it and you change to a different tab, it'll go back to being the 24th. So be sure to click next. And then when you go back to it, you'll see that it's now the 27th. So I'm gonna change this back to the 24th and click next again. And make sure that you do that for any changes. And the reason why we wanna keep SkySlope up to date is for starters, we want it to be accurate, but also the way that you input information in here is going to impact the way that um, the notifications that I get and the way that I am perceiving this document in multiple regards for the close of escrow, for instance, um, it'll impact the date on our folders and my ability to find those documents in a timely fashion. Um, also, if you want the close of escrow to be accurate, um, then that'll help me to be able to create like a settlement slideshow for you if you are having a settlement in the office um, and a couple of other things too. So like having a correct deadline for certain things too, like if the acceptance stage is actually changed, then that'll impact when title is due. Um, anything like that, the escrow, for instance, would be a huge one. If the escrow amount changes, then we need to know that so we know how much ends up needing to get paid out at the end if we are holding escrow. So just be mindful to keep everything in Skyslope updated so that we can um, like collaborate with you effectively. So I hope you guys have a nice weekend and thank you so much for tuning in.